take a lack of uh, our movement and uh, our activities is that, that we don't have uh, quantitative data like that. Uh, we don't have uh, sources or initiatives to find that. But I would uh, stick on the strategy that uh, we should follow, um, that we should um, um, reinforce and uh, build up this uh, self-confidence of the community. And that's, that's, how, uh, that's why I really enjoyed your presentation, because it uh, really uh, confirms that, and I mentioned that in my presentation last year, that we should uh, first be believe that we are stronger, uh, stronger than the haters, and uh, and because if we believe in that, it's uh, half we can have it halfway. The other halfway is uh, that uh, we need to the other thing uh, that we need to um, organize the whole event and so. On. Talking about media in Germany, for example, uh, what's the situation there? Are there uh, are they supportive? Are they anti-LGBT or what? It's <coughs> it changed uh, it changed a lot. Um, I have a long, a very long time in politics now. It's my twentieth year in Parliament, and before I was um, engaged in the board of directors of the Lesbian Gay Association in Germany. <coughs> And uh, especially this gay marriage I issue was something I started, three guys in Germany started it. Uh, for in the beginning, the whole gay and lesbian movement was against that. This was our first struggle. And then it was the struggle to convince the society. And uh, what I learned from this process, what made us um, in the end winning and gave us the registered partnership law 12 years after we started the campaign um, was that we first discussed the problems as you said I'm not a partner if I can't go to the hospital after an accident I'm not accepted um, I, I'm not inherited uh, but his family can exclude me even from the funeral etc but we didn't ask for this right, uh, rights especially, but we said then we want to have the same obligations, we want to take over the same obligations, but then we want also to get the same rights as a principle. And you can phrase this with a item marriage or registered partnership as you want. This is sometimes you have to decide in your society uh, also a little bit. Um, on the direction of church and other players and what is wise to do. We, we, we choose marriage because in this time registered partnership existed just in Denmark in, in 1989. So nobody knew what was the registered partnership. If you call for, call for something, but, but nobody has an idea what it means, then you can, can, can't make a campaign. So we decided to make a campaign on gay and lesbian marriage. And in, in 92, we went with 250 couples on, in 100 different cities to the city halls and asked for the license to marriage. And um, with pride uh, groups and some with uh, very formal, others very um, funny and colorful. So we had in every city, we had in the regional and local newspaper, we had a um, story of one or two or three couples, uh, what, how is their life going on? How are they living? And the people acknowledge all of a sudden, oh, these gay and lesbian people, in some way they are like us, and between themselves they are all different. So this deconstructed a little bit prejudices because when people told their stories, and we, were, we stick to very, uh, as, a, as, uh, as a gay lesbian association, always to the principle, equal rights, equal obligations. This not, not everybody in our community liked this, because in, uh, as it came to the legislation, in reality, we got the same le uh, obligations, but not the same rights because of our complicated legislation system, we had a conservative majority in the second chamber, so some laws couldn't pass because the second chamber blocked it. But we stick to this and said, okay, we take the same obligations and then we fight 
uh, with, with a message, it's not fair. We have the same obligations, but not the same rights. And in the end, it was the, not only in the polls, but all rights in, in single were um, um, uh, supported by a majority of, uh, of the population. But in the end, um, even by the Constitutional Court, now in five cases, they, where they said any difference between marriage and registered partnership is unconstitutional because it hurts the right of equality and is discriminating on the ground of sexual identity. And I, I think this is very important how you, if you are starting this debate, I don't know if it's the situation if you have even to, to fight for the, the right of an assembly, but it will come very soon if, if you got this right, but you have also have to say, say what we are, why are we going to the street? Now we have a right, now what do we want? We want equal rights, this is our issue. And then to, to focus on the problems that people think, oh, this is really a problem if we can't handle this situation because there is no legislation for it. But then don't be too um, um, tiny in what you ask. Ask for principles because uh, the majority of the population is Mm. It's m more easy to say, I am for the uh, equality rights of gay and lesbian couples to work, uh, in, compa in comparison to marriage, than to say, I want that they get the <coughs> same right to tax, uh, uh, come in taxation, that they get the same right in pensions, etc. Uh, and we saw it in our polls. The principle, we had 60-70% support in the late 90s. But in the details, it differed a lot. It went down even to 40% or etc. So make it with principle strong and the rest is a deal you have to make with a legislator in the end. It's not the population who will decide and write the uh, legislation piece. And um, I saw it really from, in 93, after we went to the city halls, we had one third population behind us, two thirds against us. In 96, only three years later, because we didn't stop the campaign. We make, make every day we made a press release, we made every two months we made this, um, uh, um, a demonstration or a manifestation. And always he fought in pictures, pictures which would look nice, make people feeling, oh, this is a ni nice, but why don't they have a right to make this true? Uh, and, uh, only three years later, we had a, a, a small majority in favor of us, and then it went to, to two thirds who were supporting us. So it's really, you can make a change, but you have to very much to look that you are not too detailed in what you are sending as a mes message, and um, also that you have not a dispute within, in the gay and lesbian community who goes out of the society because then it becomes very complicated and um, nobody, nobody will hear and understand your me message anymore. Uh, when you communicated your message, uh, who was your uh, primary group? The general public, the MPs, uh, I don't know, anyone else? In, in the if, if our campaign had it, um, it, what, it we had not, we hadn't a plan, but it actually, if I look back, uh, we had different um, steps. In '89, we wrote first papers for our gay and lesbian movement, two, two of them, one in a left wing newspaper, with, with which we phrased uh, very left wing, uh, to, to hide a little bit how bourgeois. The, the idea of gay and lesbian marriage is. We took uh, Marx and Engels and uh, the article, and then we made a legal paper of what we are proposing. At this time, we had no anti discrimination law. We had still a uh, criminal clause 175, which criminalized homosexuality between adults and uh, youth, uh, young men. And uh, so we had different proposals in, in a paper. And then we first tried to get our movement behind, behind us. And then they came to re reunification. We had a new organization in the 
is in East Germany, which is now the only surviving um, federal, general federal association. And they took over the, uh, the, the, the demand of gay and lesbian marriage. And then with 92, um, it was not really because we wanted it. There was a, a prominent lesbian couple who took a lawyer and went to, went to the courts. The courts. And so we said, oh, if somebody goes to the courts, we have to make a campaign, but we, uh, won't, uh, we, we, we won't win. And so we have to start the campaign, but we, uh, that we, it, we, in the end, it's not a backlash. And so we started campaigning, campaigning, campaigning. And we, in 93, we lost in front of the Constitutional Court, but um, nobody cared. We, we just went on. We had a bad day, uh, the day when, when the decision came, because they denied to take the decision at, at all, because that, that it's not a constitutional question even. And so, um, but we, we changed the phrasing, we looked what is good in, 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 and went forward. And so it was the, afterwards it was the general public, because we, we, at this time we had a conservative majority in both houses, so it was clear this party's will never go ahead. So we have to first to get the support of the Green Party, of the Social Democratic Party, the Liberal Party, and we focused at, at the early stage at um, allies, the women's movement, um, the trade unions, um, uh, the bar associations, so people who had a link in, in, in their general work with anti-discrimination, equality of rights, etc. And first to, to look to have people, prominent people out of this spectrum who supported it as non-gay and non-lesbian uh, people. And then it, we went to parliament, the Green Party made the proposals, and the debate get, went on and on and on. But it's, I can tell you, uh, it's a long time and it, 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 because Till today, we have not every. We have still fifty-four laws and um, directives in the German legislation system who differentiate between uh, uh, marriage and registered um, uh, partnership. Not very important items, but still, it's not equality. So you have to be. Um, you, you, you have to have a long atem, what is that? A long breath? A long, long breath, do you know this list? Um, for, for this fight, but stay to the principle and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and then argue after the principle comes in your message. <laughs>